All right, so let's look at flows. So again, I'll pick uh, total means of transportation as, as the basic measure. You could see I have a target right now in the first one in, in Texas. Uh, we're looking at uh, Anderson County, which is uh, by uh, alphabetically the first one. I can use the flow tool to click on, in this case, uh, the target. So if, I, if we make a tailor the target right now, you can see we have the total means of, of transportation, uh, you know, that are flowing from that target residence. You can see now uh, the interface is very fast. Whenever you click, you know, you get a response back in less than, uh, pretty much less than a second. In terms of presentation, now the way to do flow as flow arrows is through that dialogue. You can see you can pick a theme on the polygon, but you can also theme the float. So let's say we want to look at, uh, let's do the total means of transportation again, but I'm working with the flow lines or the flow arrows, and then I can choose how I want to represent this. So let's say graduated size is what I'd like. So it's going to graduate essentially the flows uh, based on, on the stroke width. As you can see now, I have a series of values. And the same way, I can go in and change those flows, change, so let's say the maximum value would be you know, 15 pixel wide, so you end up with a, a lot bigger arrow. You'll notice on this map that we have uh, the internal flows being displayed, so this is something we've added. You can configure the, this uh, using this button right there. If you click on, on the panel, this is the flow configuration panel. So I can actually choose to uh, the maximum number of flows that are displayed. I can increase this to whatever number I want. So I can make this only just show me the five most important flows or show me, you know, 30 or 30. You can type in the number in here and it's actually going to show you all the flows. We also have the option to show the arrowhead or not. So this may not work because this is something that has just been put in. Don't know if it's going to work. We'll see. I'm just going to re retry it again. Okay. Yeah, it works if you re-enable it. So I'm just going to remove, show the internal flows and click on it again. See now I'm not showing the internal flows. So I think that's that's convenient for you. You, I, if I recall. Well, that's opposite of how it is now. Now the default is without internal flows, but you could turn them on. Yes. Do you want you them off by default? Well, personally, I like them on by default, but I don't know. I like it on because I think people often get the misperception that everyone's leaving. And leaving. When it, especially on a county level, it's a whole lot of internal trips. Yeah. So you have a lot more flexibility now with the flows as well to Right now, you can see this is graduated stroke width, but you can also uh, do, do it a different way. So let's say I look at total means of transportation again. I can pick a, another option, which is, okay, hit flows again. You could hit that second option, which is size ranges. So instead of doing, uh, in doing, of doing a graduated, it's going to do ranges of size. As you can see now, those are really big, but if, and then you can work, you work with the classification. So uh, from four to 15, we get a one pixel wide line. So, you, and you can change this. So I can make this, let's say three pixel, three pixel, and let's say five pixels. You can see now the map is starting to make more sense. So you have full control over uh, you know, those tiles and really adjust how things can be represented on the map. And right now I still have, uh, you know, 30 flows being displayed. Maybe that's too much, but, you know, reducing it to a lower number makes it more legible. So whenever I click, I get my proper shading and, and the information is displayed. Each of those lines are showing you as well the value. So the origin, the destination, and those as well are available inside the data table. So I can, I can choose between my, my regions, which is the place of work, or I can look at the flows and you have the data. And the same way I can copy and paste this data in, in Excel if I want. So a lot more flexibility and the way, the same way uh, you can click on a feature, it navigates there, you can select, or you could use the selection tools to select from the flow. So I can say 
select those records here and here are the here are the flows that are selected so they are like an object on the map you could play with them like a normal feature because previously we we didn't really have that concept now we've really made it fit inside the model and uh, something else that we we need to do is give you the ability to export the data and when you're in the flow map we uh, we still have a bit of work to do there we're going to try to uh, give you a shape file of, of those arcs so that's going to be a little challenging for us but you know i think we can do it so that, that's the next step so a lot of really really good progress on uh, on the flows i think it's a lot more intuitive as well uh, and and it's a better fit with uh, you know the design of, of where things are in html5 